What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny, back with another video. I hope you guys all liked that last video I posted, Spooky Boy. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. It's a music video. I had a lot of fun making it, and it seems like you guys enjoyed it, so thanks for that. Let me know if you want me to make more stuff like that. I have other music stuff that I'm working on, so hopefully that's something you guys are into. And guys, as always, if you're not a part of Greg yet, Greg is our fandom. Greg is our uh, family here on YouTube. Greg is the strongest channel on YouTube. We're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Don't look that up. And we're also the first channel to hit 100 million subs on YouTube and then lose it in the same day. And you can't prove that that didn't happen. So that you just have to believe me. But Greg is going strong, guys. We're a movement, we're a force. I mean, you wouldn't believe the support I've been seeing on Twitter. People are changing their names on Twitter to Greg to show their support for our movement left and right. Thousands of, maybe even millions of people are named Greg on Twitter now. So anyway, guys, I know my videos are usually like super high energy, you know, jumping around, bouncing around, going around, you know, super quick and fun and hyper. But today I really wanted to dial it back a little bit. You know, modern life in the 21st century can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. You know, you got your cell phones constantly buzzing, you know, traffic and, and, you, and vlogs these days are so energetic. And it's like, I don't wanna deal with that. You know, sometimes I just wanna sit and relax. And so that's what we're gonna do today. And one of my favorite ways to relax is by watching something that I like to call a boring vlog. Boring vlogs. The birth of daily vloggers like Casey Neistat and Logan Paul. Say what you will about Logan Paul, but his vlogs are very energetic. <laughs> He's always doing stuff. And you know that's good sometimes, but sometimes we just wanna relax. So we don't have time for all that extra energy. Boring vlogs. Boring vlogs can come in all shapes and forms. But my favorite boring vlogs when I'm really meditating and trying to relax are Tessa Brooks. Now you may know Tessa Brooks from her famed role in uh, It's Every Day Bro. If, if you remember correctly, the competition was shook. She was not talking book. Tessa Brooks, the competition shook. These guys up on me. I got him with the hook. Let me educate ya. And I ain't talking book. Tessa Brooks is part of Team 10, which is Jake Paul's social media uh, cluster. And you know, when Jake Paul blew up, he sort of, everybody in his little group blew up with him. And so Tessa Brooks is one of these people who started daily vlogging because she got all these followers from Jake Paul. Now I think she has almost 3 million subscribers, like 2.8 million. She's doing pretty well for herself. And I really like her vlogs because they're so, they're just so easy. You know, she doesn't add in all that extra stuff like uh, humor or cleverness or um, excitement. It's just, you know, plain and simple daily vlog. What you see is what you get. So what I want to do with you today is just go through one of her vlogs and just relax. So that's what we're going to do. So this is one of her most recent vlogs. I think it's from about a week ago. It's called, I friend zoned him. Other YouTubers will title their vlogs, you know, I lost all my money or finally losing my virginity. But Tessa Brooks does not go for all the, you know, really attention grabbers, just I friend zoned him. Now it is written in all caps, which, you know, tends to get your attention, but I friend zoned him. Like, I mean, it's not like she's flying on a private jet or got in a car crash or anything like that. She's just, you know, I friend zoned him. So uh, let's, let's watch this video. So she's got this little exciting bit um, before the vlog starts. A lot of vlogs do this where they'll show like the most exciting part of the vlog at the very beginning to pique your interest and then play their little intro title thing and then go into the vlog. Now, usually it's something really crazy like somebody getting, you know, punched in the face or, you know, at least something like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? This is crazy, what, how are we gonna, you know. It makes you, uh, it makes you wanna know what happens in the rest of the vlog. But for Tessa Brooks, you know, she doesn't wanna surprise you. She doesn't wanna leave you on the edge of your seat. So she just shows you her friend zoning him in the first, uh, not even three seconds of the vlog. You know what, I'm, I'm joking about this, but I actually think I should start adding these into my videos. I think it would get your interest going a little bit before the video starts, you know? So let's rewind back to the beginning of this video and let's stick in the most uh, interesting part and, uh, and, then, and then cut to my uh, title, which I'll, I guess I also have to make because I don't have one. They said that uh, a nuke from North Korea was heading towards the US. All right. 
Is your interest peaked? I bet you're waiting to see how that happens. Okay, so back to the vlog. What's up, guys? Right now, we're at... <sighs> that, um, I'm sorry. That hat? What is that? Is, that, are you, is she a sailor? Or a 19th century chimney sweep? What is that hat? What? I mean, really. Are you a jockey? The hat makes no sense. Right now, we are at the radio station. We are about to tell them because I actually don't know. You don't know either? I'm gonna be on the radio. Okay. So, okay, so we're at a radio station. This is nice. You know, she's about to go on a radio show. That's very exciting. She's a very popular YouTuber. So she's gonna show us what the experience of being on the radio is all about. <laughs> Alright, now that was super fun. Now we're gonna go back to the hotel because I forgot my phone. Okay, so the. So that, it's, I guess it's over now. And that's all she showed. You know, that's nice. I mean, we're relaxing. You know, I don't want to see all of that exciting radio show stuff. I just want to see right before and right after it. So I guess we're moving on to the next thing now. Tessa, I don't want to freak you out, but um, we haven't done that thing that we do in every vlog. And it's already been like two or three vlogs since we've been in Hawaii. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. <laughs> Ah, uh, more just simple, just not giving a shit how your vlog turns out. It's so relaxing. There's this clip just full of wind noise where you can't even hear what he's saying because it's just like <laughs> And she doesn't, she doesn't even care enough to edit that part out. She sticks it in anyways. And it's just so refreshing to see that level of literally not giving a shit. I love how in this group of kids too, they all vlog. So every time they show another kid, they're like also filming. I feel like all their vlogs are just like filming the exact same thing from different angles. Boring vlogs. All right guys, so we just surfed for about an hour. It was awesome. The waves weren't the best, but like, we she still surfed it. it up. Crushed it, yeah. Okay, now they're at the beach. This'll be, this'll be nice and relaxing. The sounds of the waves. She said she already went surfing for an hour. I'm not, not really sure why she didn't show any of that. Uh, but maybe, I mean, they're still at the beach. Maybe they'll do it some more and, and we'll get to see a little bit of what they're doing at the beach. Oh, sweet, dude. Let's go back out there, buddy. Let's go back out there. See, now we're going to get some sweet surfing activity. Hey, guys, we just finished at the beach. We've been here for, like, I don't even know how long, but it's been a long time. Oh, so they're down at the beach? Well, I, get, I mean, we don't really get to see them do anything. Just sort of sit there and talk. I mean, she said that they went surfing, but we didn't even get to see it. I mean, not that I care. <laughs> I, lo I love, I love this, I love boring vlogs. Boring vlogs. Who cares about surfing? Who cares about radio shows? I mean, I, all I want is to hear Tessa Brooks tell me that she did those things. I don't want to see it. I mean, God forbid, please don't show me surfing right now. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> Let's see what she does next. Guys, after we went to the beach, I came back to the hotel. I took a nap, but now fireworks are going up. Look at this. Oh, she's at her hotel now and now fireworks are going on. That's cool. That's exciting. Let's watch some more of this. All right, guys, we're at dinner. And they're at a restaurant. Okay, so no more of that. We're really jumping around a lot here. I'm really starting to feel like we're not actually seeing her do anything in these vlogs. I mean, call me crazy, but it seems like every time she's about to do something, she stops vlogging. And then right when she's done, she vlogs again and says, okay, I just did that thing. And we don't even get to see it. We don't even get to see her surf. We don't get to see the fireworks. We don't get to see the radio show. Are we gonna get to see anything? I just feel like I'm on a really heavy drug and I'm hanging out with them and I just keep like blacking out and coming back in while they're like in the middle of a conversation like, okay, time to go surfing. And then I just black out again and then just come back to and they're like, now we're at a restaurant. And I'm like, okay, black out again, come back. Now they're all laughing and I'm like, Was there, what's the joke? It's a little disorienting. I gotta be honest. The boring vlogs were not, not quite as relaxing as I had hoped. It's actually quite jarring. It's actually quite... Jarring. I drink out of jars. This Tristan is very hangry, and he's been kind of in a really bad mood. He's so hangry. So hangry. <laughs> They're just talking. Hangry. He's ha he was hangry. He was hangry. He was hangry. They're just repeating what each other said. Hangry. 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 We're <laughs> <laughs> You can't smooth me right now. I'm hangry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now this is, this is the boring vlog content I was looking for. They're just at a restaurant in one place and they're not even doing anything funny. They're just literally just talking at dinner and laughing. I don't really know what they're laughing about because they keep cutting away from like whenever it's supposed to be funny. I am, now I'm feeling a little bit, you know, uh, zen, I guess. A little bit relaxed. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, oh, I'm wide for the trickle shake. Oh. Oh, so, <laughs> so amazing when you do that, please. You like, 
licks me through the inside of his mouth. <laughs> It was kind of weird. First, well, I mean, the licking was weird, but I, I'm the, just the random meme edited in the middle. I mean, some other vloggers do that. I, I think Logan Paul does that sometimes, but it's usually not just like, usually it just doesn't cut to silence with that meme for like three seconds. Like everything just stops and it's just a silent gif. I mean, at least just keep, it had some sort of sound. Well, that's weird. You're just gonna stop, stop mid conversation and add in a meme. That's, it makes no sense. Yeah, okay. Hey, that was awesome. Oh god, look at the people sitting next to them. There's people next to them. This is one of those hibachi grills where you sit at a table full of like eight people and four of them are YouTubers. Can you imagine going to a hibachi grill and paying like $50 for a meal and you're sitting next to Tessa Brooks? I don't think I could handle it. And not just because of the hat. They're just like laughing and dabbing and pulling out a camera every five seconds right after something interesting happens. Also, why is the audio so bad? I mean, th for the whole video, it's been bad, right? <laughs> it's like, it's either like she's covering the microphone with her thumb the entire time, or she's like just screaming, or her, I guess her camera must be broken. This is, I mean, this is next level, not giving a shit what your vlogs look like. She's like, you know what? I got 2.8 million subs in like two months because of Jake Paul. I honestly don't have to try at all. And uh, yeah, she's doing a good job, I guess. This video has 600,000 views. And I guess that's just the magic of boring vlogs. Boring vlogs. And she's always out of focus. She's never in focus in any of the shots. It's like, dude, you have enough money to buy a new camera. That hat, that, sell the hat, buy a new camera. That hat's gotta be some design, it's gotta be like a Gucci hat or something, and that's why you're wearing it. So sell the hat, and please buy a camera that doesn't look and sound like a 2004 Mac webcam. Bye. Thanks for dinner, by the way, babe. Bye, thank you. All right, we're leaving the restaurant now, uh, towards the end of the vlog, and uh, I'm guessing that the conclusion is coming up, so. Let's, let's take a look at that. All right, guys, so we just finished dinner. I am so tired. We're about to go back to the hotel. <laughs> I feel like we've said that we are tired in your vlogs so many times this trip. Really? But honestly, the sun gets to us. Yeah, and we've been doing a lot of things. We have been doing a lot of things. Like, so many things. They've been doing a lot of things. I wish I could have seen literally any of the stuff that you did. But you know what? I mean, we're just here to relax. Not to judge. We're, tr we're trying to relax still. Activities for days. Activities for, for days. days. Activities for days. <laughs> I feel like these people just don't have personalities. Either that or they're just, it's just so, so lazy. Like they can't even come up with a joke so they're just repeating each other. Like before, hangry, he was hangry, he was hangry. Activities for days. Shit, I don't have anything funny to say to you. No. You, you want to just say activities for days again? Yes, please. Activities for days. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, let's take a look at some of the comments. See what people are saying about this um, beautiful, uh, relaxing creation that is the the boring vlog. Oh my God, Tessa Chance is cheating on you on Instagram. There bees two girls twerking on him. Go to Chance's is the Instagram and tight Hollywood. Just go down and you can see Chance with a girl. Just keep watching and you can see them kiss. Chance's have a girlfriend. Now I'm so mad at him. That's, I don't think that had anything to do with the video. Uh, that was just some completely different drama. Oh my god. The audio! Fix your audio for fuck's sake. Just me or is the audio weird? Girl, your audio. Love your videos, but your audio. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with those comments. The audio is so bad. That hat is kind of terrible. <laughs> that has 179 likes. A comment on her own video. 179 of her fans were like, yep, that's true. I mean, what even, are you, what are you? The captain of a ship or a, a newspaper boy? in the 1930s. All I know is that I need that hat, <laughs> okay? So you may be asking yourself, okay, Danny, that was a pretty weird, bad vlog, but why'd you pick that? Why did you pick this for us to watch? And it actually is uh, kind of significant, I think. It's the exact embodiment of what I think is one of the things that's wrong with YouTube right now. There's this pressure to post every single day. I mean, Tessa herself can attest to that, she was uh, featured in It's Everyday Bro, where the competition was shook and she was 
not talking book. If you wanna get as many views as possible, you have to post every day. And if you don't, YouTube's gonna stop recommending you to as many people. That's just how the algorithm works. But for people who don't have very interesting lives, or for people who just don't give a shit about what their content looks like, daily vlogs just become garbage. Like this, I mean, what happened in this vlog? She went to a radio show, we didn't see that. She went to the beach, she surfed twice, and we didn't see it either time. She went to a restaurant and then just ate and annoyed the people around her. I mean, there's no, like, there was no anything. Like, at the beginning of some of Tessa's vlogs and some other vlogs too, they'll just say like, okay, uh, this isn't gonna be a very interesting day, but let's go, let's vlog it anyway. And it's like, maybe if you're not gonna have an interesting day, or if you're gonna do a bunch of stuff that you can't film, just like, don't vlog. There's nothing forcing you to be a daily vlogger. And to vlog on days like this where you're not doing anything, or just Tessa in general, because she doesn't actually ever show her doing anything, it's just greedy to make a video where nothing happens. Anyway, that's enough of my rant. Uh, the positive side is I've always kind of wanted to vlog myself. I've always felt like I just don't have a, an exciting enough life to vlog. Tess has shown me that it, it really doesn't matter what you do in a day or how you present it. It just matters that you film something and edit it together with some silent memes in the middle, just randomly, and that's all you need. So you know what? I, I don't see any reason why I can't start daily vlogging. So I did. I made a daily vlog and uh, you can see it. I'm gonna play it right after this. It's uh, it's a little bit inspired by Tessa Brooks. So, you know, shout out to her. I sort of jacked her style a little bit, but I hope you like it. So here it is. What's up guys, it's me Danny back with another vlog. I've got a lot planned today. I'm so excited I just got ready. I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna go to breakfast. Let's do this All right guys, I just went to breakfast. It was super tasty. I wish you guys could have seen it We had so much fun at breakfast a lot of funny stuff happened now. I've got something super cool planned I'm gonna be on the Ellen DeGeneres show. I'm so excited. So I'm about to head to the studio and uh, I'm gonna be on Ellen I'm so excited. Let's do this all right guys, I was on Ellen. She was really nice and she really likes me and she thinks I'm super funny. So there was some weird uh, siren going off, like they're, uh, they said that uh, a nuke from North Korea was heading towards the US. Not really sure what that's all about, but I'm about to go be on Jimmy Kimmel, so that's gonna be super fun. And uh, I wish you guys could see it, but, I, um, but I'm going to be on Jimmy Kimmel now. Psh, psh. All right, guys, I was on Jimmy Kimmel, but halfway through filming, a nuclear warhead touched down somewhere in the Midwest. We're not exactly sure where, but uh, um, now I'm gonna go to Chili's. All right, guys, I'm back from Chili's. That was a delicious meal. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this vlog. I, I really wish I could have shown you more of what happened in my day, but uh, you know, so uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I think that it was very good and I, I'm not being sarcastic. And so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, remember, if you're not a part of Greg, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications. Shout out to FM Abigail. Thank you for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg and it means the world to me. If you haven't checked out Spooky Boy yet, go check it out. It's also on iTunes and Spotify. The links are in the description for that video, so go check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.